Raw as an athlete. Many popular shoe brands in multi-day ultramarathons can gently put pressure on your Achilles during each stride. While that pressure can be caused by overly tight shoelaces or Velcro straps that are pulled too tightly, it can also be that the design of the shoe doesn't work well for a particular individual. Hocker shoes, for example, are very popular amongst ultra runners, but for multi-day races, many runners find the back of the shoe to be too high and too hard, slowly aggravating the Achilles until injury. You may not even notice for the first 24 hours of a race that you're gradually being hobbled until you find yourself like my friend Jason, 30 hours and almost 200 kilometers, that's over 120 miles, into an iconic Australian foot race known as Coast to Cozy, or C2K, making slow, painful, and injury-aggravating progress towards the finish line, which is still a full marathon away. Or perhaps worse still, you may have no other option than to remove a shoe altogether in order to continue, toughing it out until your expensive socks wear through and your feet blister. Jason had tried everything to manage the problem, orthotics in, orthotics out, changing socks, taping feet, but the problem had kept progressing and nothing had worked. That is until Billy Pierce, one of the race medics, fellow ultramarathon runner and previous race finisher, presented a solution to us that got Jason safely to the finish line of Australia's longest single stage foot race a full seven hours ahead of the cutoff time. The solution was in-race shoe modification. It was amazing to witness the process and the results speak for themselves. All you need for the shoe modification is a scalpel, a pair of scissors, two safety pins, and some duct tape, gaffer tape, or gorilla tape. Watch the rest of this video to see how it is done. So we'll just take the back of the heel down to basics. And what's, what's worked really well here, rather than scissors, a scalpel, and like, Grandma does with her sewing. Just take it apart. Billy Pierce, the surgeon <laughs> of Ultra. <laughs> yeah, just concentrating because it's sharp and I want to go home with all my fingers. <laughs> Now it's important to get this away without being too brutal because that's what we're going to work with afterwards to give us a nice smooth finish. A few choices you have to make that you can't go back from when you're doing this. It's all the way around, you see the stitching's coming away nicely. You've done this before. Yeah, well, Smooth. I did it yesterday. <laughs> How many times? After, after about not having 28 hours sleep, so getting oh, wow. the scalpel out is always a challenge. <laughs> One false move. Okay, so we go right the way around. We know what we've revealed nicely. That's, that's your lining. That's the important bit. You've got to stay intact. That's what's going to touch your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then what we have here, so bring that away. Okay. Use your fingers. Don't get too brutal. So now, what I want to do is I want to take that off at that sort of angle there. So now we can choose to chuck your chew up. And literally, just get in. Keep it brutal bit. Just. And how do you decide how, how low. low to cut it? Well, I like to go along the seam here. So take off a moderate amount, because yeah. we go shorter, we can't go higher. Yeah. Right, just pause that a second, would you? Again, it's all just lining, padding. From all apart. You want to keep as much padding as possible. Keep as much padding. Way. We'll trim the padding, but keep as much, because again, what we can't do is put it back in. And that's where we get our lumps and bumps from. We did this yesterday, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> Very fine job. Great job, yeah. Okay. We're starting to reveal what we've gone on. So again, lining, padding, which we'll come back to trimming. And now we can get busy with getting rid of the shoe. Deciding how low we want to go. So how, how do you decide that? Just bits at a time, well, see what want, works. I still want your heel to be cut. Yeah. And, and and the reality is I'm, I'm looking for a kind of a straight line. Yeah, okay. That's where I'd w want to go down to initially. So I'll trim, trim, and then go harder. 
You know how close to a straight line did we get on that one, Jason? What do you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh no. Oh yeah. Yeah. So just enough to cup your heel, but then trying to keep that vertical as well, because mm. it's the cupping your heel we want to get rid of. Because the only pair of shoes you had yesterday, um, yeah, trim, trim to fit. There we go. Get again to that sort of line again, yeah. Mhm. Mm Just trim around this side. So this is obviously a common problem with hookers. Lots of shoes. Lots of if shoes. If you get into okay. multi-day events, shoe shoe modification is a real big part of it. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to trim this. So what we now want to do, I'm going to pull that over and pull this over. So if we get it wrong, you get too much of a bump in here. Mm. So this is where the second pair of hands mm, are really okay. good, you see? Pull that down. So no, we're still not, no, need a little bit more out just yet. Yeah, you've you got to learn yeah. how to do it. Now we can trim. So we don't want a big bulge, but we want enough comfort. Side. You guys are really good about me doing this yesterday. Sometimes the crowd go wild. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> yeah, that's right. And, and, and you know, and it worked, which was important. Mm. But once you've done this, and perhaps there's another problem comes, yeah, you might not have the crowd on your side. So, <laughs> so <long. laughs> All you can do is try. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was pretty happy for you to hack it apart yeah. whatever way you wanted to. Yeah, see, there it's not working yes. for you then. That's right. Anything's an improvement. Something. Yeah. Now, safety pins. This, I would say, is the trick. The rest is just using your eye. This to me. Center. The trick now is get your padding out and adequate. The most loose stuff are like having grit in your shoe. Mm. That's the stuff and the glue. Mm. Let's take this over, that's one. Smooth. Okay, put this one around here. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that snug there. So we've still got the scar on the line, yeah? Happy with that. Right, this is where it gets really good, and this is where Grant was great yesterday. I need this roll around so it's nice and smooth. So if you can do that, mm -hmm. and then you can do this with um, gaffer tape. Yeah, like cool. One. I use the see through one, just really because it's hospital grade. <laughs> this one. You can put some purchase there. I'm almost, I'll almost get your thumbs down. Okay, let's pull that down. Check against my knee. Okay, let go. See if we got it. Yeah. There's no. Yep. No. Um, yeah. Pretty similar height. Pretty similar height. Let's say the trick is. Just to nibble away, nibble, nibble. Um, this one probably isn't as square as your other one, but I think it'll be fine. Is there something you can put over it that's more permanent? Or? Not really. There's one more trick that I did mention that you can do if this 
doesn't truly solve everything. But just the under tape, I mean. Because um, I'm guessing, you know, obviously, with weather conditions and all yeah. that. You just have to keep replacing just it? Just replacing it. Sometimes the pins will come out. Yeah, um, cool. Okay, so that's that's it. Yeah, Two cool. lots of tape. The pins I, I, I will keep it in, in shape. What you can do, if you're still getting a problem, okay, mm -hmm. you can take nice tape, smooth tape like this. Again, gaffer tape's good. And put liners. You have a really smooth heel then. Mm -hmm. If if, if your, 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 your heel and your Achilles are so raw, mm -hmm. I think I said that to you yesterday. Well, one thing I would do next for you is then line this with lots of strips under and over. It's lots and lots and lots of okay. strips, and then you've got a really smooth low friction. And, and it sort of just takes away the bulk of the, the heel padding. Yep. So just so my hockey, you can just see the angle. So I've taken away the angle. Mm -hmm. I could do the same here. Line. I'd probably take a more aggressive line on this one. And there. Takes away the overhang. You've quite a bit of bulk there. Do you feel there's quite a bit of, yeah? Yeah. So, and so when you're folding over the thin part, if you don't take it away, what happens is that goes in, and you end up with a bump, see? Mm. Very crudely. Yeah. And I've seen people do that. They've done everything we've done, but they kept the padding, because they think I'll pad that out, because he's got a sore Achilles. Mm. You do that, and you've got yeah, that lip. Probably make it worse. Yeah, yeah, and then it's mm. just like, it's the worst thing you've ever happened, and they throw the shoes back at you, because you just, you really, and as you were doing then, you both cut push the shoe and made them worse. <laughs> and you want to push it back. And again, if you do it at the side of the road and your crew are happy to do it, you can say that's good, but some more, and just nibble some more. Mm. Sort of take off, take it all off, mm. and then just snip some more. Then you go. Mm. Billy's taken his commitment to ultra marathon running in Australia to the next level by organising a new race, Canberra 48 hour race, in March this year. I encourage you to support him by entering the race coming down showing your support and if you like this video please click the link to find out how you can support me in my upcoming races like subscribe visit add and follow raw aussie athlete